tale to choose. The world will end. Knock at the Cabin is the new film from M. Night Shyamalan, so who's ready to see what M. Night cooked up this time? While vacationing, a girl and her parents are taken hostage by armed strangers who demand that the family make a choice to avert the apocalypse. All jokes aside, I really respect M. Night Shyamalan as a filmmaker. Right when he started his career, he had an amazing run. He had some of the best movies ever made and some of the best directed movies ever made, but then he went on this extremely painful an excruciating cold streak that really cemented his name into, I think, an unfair category, but it is fun to joke around. It's always this stigma around M. Night Shyamalan that if you're going to see a movie of his, there's just going to be a crazy and weird twist ending with just a really weird concept. But I respect M. Night as a filmmaker because some of those original films are so good, and I love an original idea. I love these crazy types of concepts, and honestly, even when the endings are really fucking stupid sometimes, they're still a lot of fun. And Naga the Cabin's right in the middle of M. Night's filmography. It is definitely not the worst thing ever made, and it's nowhere near some of his best films. It's just okay. I had fun with it. The best two compliments I can give this film is that there is really no downtime at all. Right when the movie starts, shit hits the fan. And it doesn't really slow down. I think M. Night does a great job of creating tension and shoots the film really well in this one location type of thriller. And the second best part about this film are the performances. I think Dave Bautista here is excellent. This might be the best performance of his career so far. I can't think of anything else on top of my head. He is a great actor. I love that he's getting so much work outside of the MCU. But here he's this really scary and intimidating presence, but also he's like really timid and careful. And there's a lot of conflict with this character and all the other characters too. The thing I like about this movie too is it does keep you guessing if some of the facts that are presented to you are real. I think that's a mixture of the filmmaking itself, and then also just the name M. Night Shyamalan because you really never know what to expect when you see a film like his. And I think all that works really well. I guess why I didn't think this movie was like a 10 out of 10 is sometimes the whole plot of the movie and some plot elements can be a little silly. There's stuff that happens on the TV that is a little silly and characters do certain things that kind of take you out of the experience and some of the dialogue is just sort of okay and yeah you probably want to hear about the ending obviously won't talk about it we don't want to spoil it for you guys but i thought it worked well and i guess it wasn't what i was expecting i guess i was bracing for some crazy reveal or something completely different to happen because maybe just the name m night Shyamalan, but as the film progressed and as the plot progressed, I thought it was a fine ending. It might disappoint some people because people love to go into these movies thinking they're going to have their minds blown or have a twist ending that's either amazing or fucking awful. And here, I can't say too much about it. I just thought it was fine. I thought it worked well with the film. Yeah, I think overall, M. Night did a good job directing the tension in this film. And there are some parts of it I thought were fun. I just think this is a film I probably won't really think about too much. I'll probably forget about it next week. But it was a fun time. I thought it was okay. And it's definitely not one of the worst films M. Night's ever made. It's not one of the best films he's ever made. But I thought he did a good job as a director. And if you're a fan of his, I think you'll enjoy the film. I'm going to give Knock at the Cabin 6.5 Davy Daves. I really do respect M. Night as a filmmaker. He has inspired a lot of other filmmakers. He has made a lot of great films. It does kind of suck that he is sometimes a butt of a joke, and I can't be innocent to that. I make jokes all the time about it. But he really is a good filmmaker, and I'm happy that he still gets the clout to where he makes films like this because I love seeing a new M. Night film. It can be exciting. You really don't know what you're going to expect, and that's hard to do these days. So, knock at the cabin. Let me know what you guys thought of it once you've seen it. I'm curious to hear, and thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Click here to see more of Dave Dave's Takes.